Here's another example. It says solve the system by graphing, which is really the only method we have for solving these. Okay, so we're going to take the top um, inequality and make it an equation, x plus y equals 2. And so you can just make a table of values here, or you could put it in slope-intercept form if you want to do that. But um, table of values, you know, 1 plus 1 is 2, 0 and 2, 2 and 0, you know, those work. So kind of easy to get some ordered pairs there. Let's graph them and see what it looks like. So 1, 1, 0, 2, and 2, 0. Oops. Uh, I did 2, 0. <laughs> 0, 2. There it is. Okay. And then look, you know, always double check, solid or dotted, solid line this time. Why? Because it has the equal to part. So solid line. And then I can pick 0, 0, so I'm going to choose 0, 0. And I'll see if it works in the inequality. So the inequality says x plus y is less than or equal to 2. If I put 0 plus 0, is that less than or equal to 2? Is that true? Oops, that was my system. Okay, um, it is true. 0 is less than or equal to 2. So it means that the point 0, 0, the origin, works. So all the points over here are, are good points. All right, that's the first one. Now we'll go to the second inequality. Make it an equation. So here's the second one. <laughs> y equals 2 thirds x minus 1. So it's in slope intercept form. I'll just use that. Here's the y intercept 0, negative 1, which is going to be right there. And then the slope is going to be up 2 over 3. So a positive slope up 2 and over 3, up 2, over 3, up 2, over 3. If you really want to go down 2 and back 3, you can because negative divided by negative would be the same thing. Okay, is it solid or dotted? Right there, solid. It's got the equal to part. So it's a solid line. Okay, now block out the blue stuff and just focus on the green. Um, I can use 0, 0. It's kind of close to the line, but I can use it. Plug it into the inequality. 0 is greater than or equal to 2 thirds times 0 minus 1. 0 is greater than or equal to negative 1. Is 0 bigger than negative 1? Yes. Okay. So that means it works. My origin is above the green line, so it's going to be all the points over here. Okay, now where do you have the green and blue both? It's this section, right? Sorry, I don't know. It's this section over here. Okay. All right, that's how we graph them. And that means any point in that yellow section would make both statements true.